welcome to Yoga TX. My name is Lauren. Today I'm going to show you how to go from zero to handstand in about 60 seconds, if you will. Um, but we are going to work towards building up to a handstand. So if you don't already, go ahead and bring your mat over to a wall. Um, you want to have the mat just lined up with the wall. We'll come to the wall in a minute. Just be mindful that you don't have any art hanging overhead, that you're not in front of a doorway. Just get to a very safe, stable wall that uh, we can use to build our practice with. So we'll actually go on and get started in downward facing dog, moving into a little bit of core work to build up to this practice. So starting in downward facing dog, palms spread bright. We'll inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky and exhale, hug the knee into the nose. We'll do this two more times, gently warming up the shoulders, warming up the core, inhaling up, and exhale, hug the knee into the nose. One more time, inhale up, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up, and then release the right foot down, lifting the left toes now as we inhale them up to the sky. And exhale, knee to nose. Two more times, inhaling as we lengthen, exhaling as we curl in. And then inhale back up, exhale, release the toes, taking two breaths in downward facing dog, releasing the head here. go ahead we'll move next into some donkey kicks if you will so if you have a block available go ahead and grab one now this is a great practice for kicking up into headstand handstand excuse me really engaging our core so we'll go ahead and place the block right between the thighs so we can really engage those inner thighs and squeeze holding that block bringing the hands a few inches away from the wall, walking the toes in. We'll bend deeply in the knees and then just lift up. So kicking up, you're really trying to kick your butt like a donkey would. This just helps build shoulder strength. We'll do about five of these and then release the knees back. Take a few breaths, release the block off to the side, and then we'll come into another preparation for handstand here. So a great way to measure this is to put your back up against the wall, extend your feet out long in front of you, and then kind of mark it, maybe use the block to mark about where your feet were and place your hands about there. You may have to readjust, just depending, but that's a good guesstimate. So from here, planting the palms bright, we'll walk the feet back and go ahead and walk the feet up the wall. Finding, so see, I need to move out a little more. Finding this nice parallel line. This can really stretch in the shoulders, as we keep the gaze down, being mindful, we don't want to walk the toes up high or down low. But really find that nice parallel with the mat. We'll take one more deep breath in. And then release the toes to the mat. So now we've warmed up the shoulders, we've warmed up the core. We've even practiced kind of kicking up and engaging that core a little bit. So now we'll practice kicking up into the real deal. So go ahead, bring the palms of your hands pretty close to the wall. I mean, you wanna allow room for your butt um, once we go upside down. And I find that when we kick up, really keep the gaze down at the hands because sometimes if we're kicking up and looking up, we can really kind of send ourselves into vertigo when we change the gaze so quickly. So from here, we'll find kind of this shortened downward facing dog. 
and lift one set of toes, whichever you're more comfortable with, up to the sky, bending into that right knee. I choose the right leg. I feel a little more stable kicking up from there. And then from there, just play with kicking up off that leg a few times. And then maybe float all the way up, bringing the feet to the wall as we really lift up through the heels We'll take two deep breaths here. And then very slowly allow the feet to come down, being mindful that the number one injuries from inversions is actually when we come down. So being mindful that we don't slam those toes into the mat, but that we really lift with the core and float the toes back down. So thank you very much for flipping upside down, for practicing handstand with me today. If you like the video, share it with your friends, give us a thumbs up, add us to your Facebook page, and I hope you'll come back and practice with me more often. Thank you very much. Namaste.